एवरीवन वेलकम टू द एट्थ क्लास केमिस्ट्री वीडियो लेसन कंटिन्यूइंग चैप्टर केमिकल रिएक्शंस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट ऑक्सीडेशन एंड रिडक्शन लेट अस फर्स्टली स्टडी अबाउट ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन अ केमिकल रिएक्शन इन विच ऑक्सीजन इज एडेड टू अ सब्सटेंस और हाइड्रोजन इज रिमूव्ड फ्रॉम अ सब्सटेंस or there is a loss of electrons from an ion or an atom is called an oxidation reaction for example when carbon and oxygen reacts with each other to form carbon dioxide in this reaction oxygen is added to carbon to form carbon dioxide so this is an oxidation reaction and as oxygen is added to carbon so carbon is said to be oxidized magnesium reacts with oxygen to form magnesium oxide in this reaction oxygen is added to magnesium therefore it is also an oxidation reaction and in this reaction magnesium is oxidized similarly oxygen is added to sulfur to form sulfur dioxide so this is also an oxidation reaction and in this reaction sulfur is said to be oxidized as removal of hydrogen from a substance is also called oxidation therefore the reaction in which hydrogen sulfide reacts with chlorine to form hydrogen chloride and sulfur hydrogen sulfide is said to be oxidized because hydrogen is removed from hydrogen sulfide to form sulfur similarly when hydrogen iodide reacts with chlorine to form hydrogen chloride and iodine hydrogen is removed from hydrogen iodide to form iodine so that's why hydrogen iodide is said to be oxidized in this reaction also hydrogen is removed from ethanol to form ethanol so this reaction also represents oxidation reaction and in this reaction ethanol is said to be oxidized as loss of electrons is also called oxidation so when sodium loses one electron to form sodium ion it represents oxidation the loss of one electron from ferrous ion to form ferric ion also represents oxidation an atom or an ion can lose electrons only when an electronegative element is added to it or when an electropositive element is removed from it therefore oxidation may also be defined as a process which involves the addition of oxygen or any other electronegative element or as a process which involves the removal of hydrogen or any other electropositive element now oxidation does not occur by itself it is an oxidizing agent which brings about an oxidation reaction therefore we can define oxidizing agent as any element or compound which helps in the addition of oxygen or the removal of hydrogen or an electropositive element for example here in this reaction chlorine has removed hydrogen from hydrogen sulfide to oxidize it so in this reaction chlorine is acting as an oxidizing agent now let us learn about reduction reaction a chemical reaction in which hydrogen is added to a substance or oxygen is removed from a substance or gain of electrons from an ion or an atom takes place that reaction is called a reduction reaction as addition of hydrogen to a substance is called a reduction therefore addition of hydrogen to chlorine to form hydrogen chloride represents a reduction reaction here hydrogen is added to chlorine therefore chlorine is said to be reduced when carbon monoxide reacts with hydrogen it forms methanol in this reaction hydrogen is added to carbon monoxide therefore carbon monoxide is said to be reduced substance as removal of oxygen from a substance is also called a reduction therefore the decomposition of cupric oxide to form copper and oxygen represents a reduction reaction because oxygen is removed from cupric oxide to form copper and oxygen here cupric oxide is said to be reduced substance 
फेरिक ऑक्साइड रिएक्ट विद कार्बन मोनोक्साइड टू फॉर्म आयरन एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इन दिस रिएक्शन ऑक्सीजन इज रिमूव फ्रॉम फेरिक ऑक्साइड टू फॉर्म आयरन सो दैट्स वाई फेरिक ऑक्साइड इज सेट टू बी रिड्यूस्ड इन दिस रिएक्शन गेन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बाय एन एटम और एन आयन इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड रिडक्शन देयर फोर वेन क्यूप्रिक आयन गेन्स टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू फॉर्म कॉपर एटम इट रिप्रेजेंट्स अ रिडक्शन रिएक्शन Similarly, when chlorine atom gains one electron to form chloride ion, it also represents reduction. An atom or an ion can gain electrons when an electro-positive element is added to it, or when an electro-negative element is removed from it. Therefore, reduction may also be defined as a process which involves the addition of any electro-positive element. or as a process which involves the removal of an electronegative element reduction of a substance is brought about by a reducing agent therefore reducing agent may be defined as a substance which adds hydrogen or electropositive element or which removes oxygen or electronegative element from a substance for example in this reaction carbon monoxide has removed oxygen from ferric oxide so that's why carbon monoxide acts as a reducing agent in this reaction in most of the reactions oxidation and reduction occur simultaneously such type of reactions are called as redox reactions for example the reaction of cupric oxide with hydrogen to form copper and water represents a redox reaction in this reaction oxygen is added to hydrogen to form water so oxidation of hydrogen has occurred at the same time oxygen is removed from cupric oxide to form copper so reduction of cupric oxide has occurred in this reaction oxidation and reduction takes place simultaneously so it is a redox reaction zinc reacts with chlorine to form zinc chloride during this reaction zinc loses two electrons to form zinc ion which represents oxidation the electrons lost by zinc are gained by chlorine to form chloride ions which means chlorine is reduced then due to opposite charges present on zinc ion and chloride ions they attract each other to form an ionic compound zinc chloride as both oxidation and reduction occur simultaneously in this reaction hence it is a redox reaction